gets two cookies simply because you had one victory over Sallow. He never backs down from a fight. You're defending hogs as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of Cross Ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. I like how they have the owls talk to you. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. to explore more of the map now. Okay, let me let's see, let's see. Right here, I'd first. better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. Any luck finding my diary and the rest... Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, you might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. I wouldn't do that to you, Cressida. Only trying to teach you to be a little more careful. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Rebellion. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Incendio. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. 
Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new... Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like mock... Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. Hmm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking no, to her body spirit, like a mandrake to fresh soil. Spirit. Now, as I mentioned, so next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. Of course. I've I arranged have, for you to course. have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic. They will take time to grow. Of course, I know they will take time to grow. Let's so. see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy or roses? Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wigan Bell potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wigan Weld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now! What say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. I'm eating that here right now. I saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing oh, you the okay. Chinese... Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. What Go on, this? grab a few of those cabbages. Just Most mind your cabbage. fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Oh. Don't worry, Nurse Blaney put it back on. Trust me, you do not want to go through that. Cabbage. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. I can toss the cabbage at the dummy, that's nice. <laughs> Look at that! They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. 
did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed in Death Camp has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Handy resource indeed. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. But those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Oh. 
I'm on my mount. Got a real deal run. What are you up to now? Rebellion. Revelio. This looks intriguing. Incendio. Rebellion. Incendio. Accio. Incendio.
Akio. Leviosa. Revelio. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, Jesus thank you. Him. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibililand. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Halo is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the Thank meantime, you. remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented... I Lupe. beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me? What's going on here?
They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! Let's get this out of Incendio! Stupendous! Cowards! Going after his child! Tell Rook to find me himself. Incendio! Oh, what's the light go out of your eyes? I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Get over! Hang on! We can get up some more! I'm not going anywhere with you. It's a shame. You'll take this! You can drop a bike! Get funny! No! 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 Akio! No! 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 Little crap! Help! Go in back! Child! Incendio, tell Rookwood to find me himself. No. I hate heights. Please stop! Expose them. No. Serve them right. Uh, I was a better last time when I was just rolling. All right, let's try this again. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. You're two words and one stone. You're there! Let me oh, hang on! Get get up. Up. I'm not going anywhere with you. You take this! You get up of my dead body! Get up! Help! Tell Rookwood to find me himself. Incendio. Oh, no. <laughs> Aha! Back for more. You're easier to spot than an erupt. Not gonna do it. Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. Stop, Rotato! We can hold them up! Oh, 
I'm not going anywhere with you. You take this student up of my game, buddy! Protego, it's Tell Rook would find me himself. Ten of these people, what on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Let me make sure I got that done. I don't think I did the other half of that. Dang it, I need four more rolls. Are you alright? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortion. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. Mm. She's a travelling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, like dozens Merlin of them, them all Carver. around the area. Oh. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Disappeared. What shall I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendium. Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. His 
Merlin trials won't get the best of me. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. This must be mine. Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it. for a pint of sweet golden Another selection for you all. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. We're on wow, we're on to this time. Um... 
that round. Good to try again. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Yes, I'm ready now. Very well. Good luck out there. Try again? No, I don't think so. Not right now. Understandable. I need but wild, don't take too long. We'll be waiting. Yes. Wait, did I do that? I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Probably have you open, sir. I'm keep a tab on my laptop while I'm down here. Professor, I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. Wow, I dare so say more than the staircases yeah, change around is, here. So as for slow. the students, well, they seem to get more capable every... Uh, I... Uh, I... I hadn't realized that... Huh. Time itself. I never would have imagined such a thing. 
Ah, oh, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may... An un... Ah, uh, as you might... Now, I... You have. Keep up with your wand work. Behold Art 3. To take care of everything professor I, I completed all of your most recent assignments well done then you're ready to learn expelliarmus pay close attention the disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. I remind you that you are studying a problem and not the free group thing. There was something Maybe else. Maybe orders or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident. Professor Black would never allow that. Maybe a person. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. 
The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a Goblin Rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. A well-prepared witch or wizard always... Revelio! should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Here's the Fwopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Should you chop the Didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows.
And now we add the Mallow Sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed.